What's going on, everybody? It's Mark Steady with Mark Steady TV, and today we are, well, we're somewhere out yonder in an undisclosed location. We are going to be checking out a beautiful ride out here, so stay tuned. I'm not going to say too much. Can't say too much without saying too much. There's some nice houses out here. Let's get into it. Mark Steady TV. Like, share, subscribe if you haven't already. Tell somebody about it, because I know somebody is going to be wanting to watch this video. Stay tuned. What's up, everybody? It's Mark Steady with Mark Steady TV. Thanks for tuning in. We're out here in beautiful Crowley, Texas. That's right, we're out here at my homie Miguel's house. He's gonna show us a beautiful 57 Bel Air, and he's got a special 63 Impala sedan. Let's check it out. Mark Steady TV, like, share, subscribe. Now he's back here somewhere. Miguel? Ah, there you are. What's up, man? Hi. Mark Steady TV. What's up, brother? How you doing? Good, brother. How about yourself? Pretty good, man. Welcome, man. Thanks for hey. coming out and making the drive. Appreciate you having me, man. Yeah, Appreciate course. you having me. Of course, of course. So yeah, you hit me up and I say, oh yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't turn this one down, man. Yeah, no. I man, can't turn this one down. It's cool, man. It's so beautiful they, weather too. Oh yeah, it's perfect up, weather. Man, middle of winter. It's yeah, right. Eighty degrees, you know. It's beautiful. I was like, yeah, we so. let's get, let's lock it in, let's do it. Yeah. You know, it's gonna yeah. be beautiful weather, so That's it, let's really? let's take it. I was just, uh, I gotta disconnect his battery charger here real quick. Gotta keep the batteries charged on this thing, you know? Man, you know, I've seen this, uh, quite a bit Can't on, be, uh, on Instagram in the last couple of days, but in person, it's just... Thanks, brother. It's beautiful. Can't be caught slipping with no, no batteries, you know? Oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> nice, clean setup. Yeah, man, uh, two pumps, six batteries, ADEX dumps. Uh, done right, you know? And she'll, she'll get it. You know, I don't hop it, but, I mean, she'll, she'll do it. She's a little chipper, you know? Right, right, right. <laughs> she likes to show off. So, yeah, it's, just, it's a fun car to drive, man. It's a lot of fun. So, Miguel, tell us, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, what do you do? Uh, so, well, I do a lot. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, right. I'm, a, I'm actually a, an engineer for a, a company in Fort Worth. Okay. Where we manufacture uh, oil field equipment. Nice. So I've uh, been doing that for, for about 10 years, but uh, oil and gas industry about 13, 14 years. Okay. You know, and then um, started Patina Classics, you know, uh, probably about seven years ago. Nice. And what I do is I try to go out and save Cars like these, four doors, wagons, patina, you know, cars have been sitting for a really long time and try to bring them back to life, you know? Yeah. So. Back to life they are, because they are beautiful. That's it, man, yeah. yeah. So, um, how many cars have you done to this, this you know, this far? Man. Uh, Too many to count. You know, there's different customers for different uh, uh, variations on how they want the cars done. Typically what I do is when I get the car, the car's been sitting since the 70s or 80s. Gotcha. You know, so engine doesn't run, tires are all flat, you know, the it's car's been sitting out of, in a field or a garage or, mm -hmm. or a barn, whatever it may be. And then, uh, you know, we'll run, sometimes we'll run through the engine, get the cylinders, you know, re-soaked and, and uh, get them running again, clean them all up and then uh, sell them. I've, right. got a, I've got a really big clientele in, in Sweden in nice. Sweden and Australia, New Zealand, and uh, a lot of those guys will just hit me up, you know, when they're ready for a car, or they'll talk to their friends or whatever it may be. And right. It just kind of roller coast, you know, just was a roller coaster ride for for several years, um, you know, with these four doors and wagons and everything. Right, right. But right. that's what I specialize in, you know, four doors and, and station wagons. Gotcha, I'd gotcha. say probably about twenty percent of my business is is U.S. Mm -hmm. based. But I'd say the other eighty percent is overseas. So anyway, you 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 do business. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. I I, I mostly uh, deal with clientele overseas. Nice. You nice. know, they don't want to deal with a scammer. You know. Right. Right. You know, there's a lot of scams there's going a lot on of those, nowadays, yeah. mm -hmm. and um, so they'll just go through me. You know. That's cool. Or instead of just a regular John Doe over the phone on Craigslist or whatever it yeah, may be. Yeah. Right. So. Right. But yeah, 
What's uh what's what's your favorite build thus far? Um man, it's hard to say. I love all all these cars, you know, that I get and put my hands on. Right. I'm always like I always find a cool car and I'm like, man, I wish I could keep it. Yeah. yeah. It's just <laughs> such a cool car and I mean I had a uh there was I had fifty nine wagon Kingswood, you know, it was a nine passenger car. Uh, original paint, original interior, had the spotlights on it, nine passenger. I mean, it was just a really cool car, and, and I do regret selling that one, you know? It so, sounds like it was nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or we load up with the family and go see Christmas lights or whatever. Yeah, that's be, cool. You know? Sounds so. like a good time. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, this one is for sale, correct? Yeah, so um, the 57, unfortunately, has to go. Um, I got my hands on a 61 convertible, Impala convertible. Oh yeah, got to make That I want to build now, so yep. um, I can't keep both cars. You know, one of them has to go, and so the 57 is up for sale. 75,000 is is what I'm asking for. You can't build it for 75. And uh, the car was built right. Like I said, two pump, six batteries. I actually sent the car off to Cali. I sent the car off to Cali to go get cut. Okay. Um, who did the uh, Who did the work? The who did uh, K? You know K by the door. K by the door. Yeah, K by the door. She was on Lowrider Role Models. Okay. And then Mikey, um, his dad started Reds Hydraulics nice. back back in the day. So sent it out to them. They did the setup, uh, partial frame reinforcement. It's bridged in the back. Um, and then uh, Andy Lodi, you know, hooked me up with the the Adex dumps. But yeah, man, they, they did a really good job. Was I've been really happy with the with the setup and on how they did everything, you know. Right, right. And so, um, but yeah, it's a fun car, man. Fun, fun car. Well, I can't wait to uh, get it out under that beautiful sun we got today. Yeah, man, for sure we can do that. Get that credit popping out nice yes, and beautifully. Sir. There we go. I mean, just in the garage alone, it looks looks really nice. Thanks, bro. Look at this interior, y'all. Who did your interior? So when I bought the car, the car was actually fully restored. Okay, gotcha. Um, it was all original. You know, had the big white wall tires with right. the spinner hubcaps. Um, didn't have a Continental kit. Uh, the lady I bought it from inherited it from her dad, and he actually restored the car twice. You know, because he wasn't happy with the first restoration. So. Right. I ran up to Lindsay, Oklahoma with uh, at Gotten Pollens, mm -hmm. Brandon um, Slack. He went up there with me and we picked up the car. It was sitting in a, in a storage uh, area and so um, brought the car home. I've had the car for about five years now, almost going on six. And uh, I rolled it OG, you know, for like two years. Gotcha. Um, threw the 13 by sevens on there, had the short, uh, the rear end shortened. To, to fit the 13 by sevens with the skirts and everything like that. You got to do it on the tri fives mm -hmm. to look right. Um, and I just rolled it like that. And then I was, I was on Instagram and I remember seeing a bunch of, you know, like Southside guys and, and, uh, OG tweeting his yellow 57 convertible. Yeah. And he, you know, he'd be just like hitting just the slams, switches, yeah. just dipping in the 57 rag. And I was like, man, you know, and then I saw those Southside guys, you know, rolling the tri fives over there and they were all cut. And all the south side, like, man, I was like, they got some crazy. sick, like, they're all like immaculate. Yeah. 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 So, but, got on the, I actually got on the phone with OG Tweet out in Cali, uh, King of Chevys, and uh, we got to talking and everything like that. And he actually had a 57 just like this back in the 80s, same color and everything. And it was cut. Dang. You know, so, we got to talking and... A lot of the inspiration, you know, to cut it and everything like that came from, came from OG tweets. So. That's sweet. Yeah, man. That's sweet, that's sweet. Yep. What's uh, some hidden, uh, nice little details that, well, what's the best detail that you like on this car? What's the, or I guess you know what's what? the best detail? The fins, like? man. The fins, the yeah, fins, right. I just love the way the fins look. Let me go back things. on that one more time. Yeah. The, the fins are a very unique feature you know, on the 57s. Right. You see a 57 going down the road, you know it's a 57. That's you know? true, yeah, that's fence. true. And, uh, you know, going back to the setup, you see how they how they did the hard lines, you know? You see how they did the hard lines? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the hard fans. lines actually match the fins on the, 50, right. on the car. 
So that was a really nice touch by uh, by Mikey and, and came by the door. Yeah, I see that. That's definitely a clean setup. I like that. Thanks, bro. That's cool. It's got the jacket instructions. Yep. <laughs> Zoom in on that. Yeah. And that's original, right? Cars, uh, no, the, uh, the sticker, yeah. The sticker? Yeah, so from the factory, that's how it came, that's you know, cool. with, the, with this instructions. Yeah, you don't want to take it off, you know? I haven't seen many uh, 57s like this. Yeah. With that still on there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's beautiful. Fits with Continental kit. Yeah, the Continental kit I got um, at the Moto Swap Me. Okay. You know, it's it was an NOS nice. kit. It's not a remanufactured right. or anything like Original. that. Original. I wanted this car to be done right. Original, you know? right. So spent the extra money to, to get the right equipment for it. Well, I don't have the 75K right now, but one day I will. And yeah, you will. And uh, yeah, man. we're going to have to make a... You'll have to hit me up. We're going to have to have a conversation. Maybe, maybe I'll have another one by then. Yeah, I'll yeah. Help you find one. Maybe I'll come and grab this one off your hands. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> cool. Uh, you want to pull it out and yeah. get some cool little shots? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful man. Seventy five K, yo. Come catch them out. I'll put the uh, link in the description, put the links in the video. Yeah, hit them up. Tell him Mark Steady sent you. Tell me something about the engine, man. So yeah, it's a, uh, the original 283 uh, V8 that came with the car. Um, the transmission's a 350 automatic turbo that I did earlier this year, which does a lot better on the highway compared to the original two-speed power glide. Uh, she gets down the road, man. She does what she needs to do, you know. Uh, car's got disc brakes in the front. It did have power steering, but I had to take the power steering off for the, the brake booster. Gotcha. So. You said this, yeah. so it was restored, this was already, it came like this one. Yeah. It's a four barrel carburetor, so it's a, it's a, what they call a power pack car. Gotcha. You know? Power pack. Mm -hmm. Tried to keep that OG look, you know? That's nice. That's nice. That's hot. It started right up. Yeah. Started right up. Yeah. She starts right up, man. No problems. One of my favorite sights is that front end. Yeah. The gold accents. Too. Yeah, the gold accents. <laughs>
How does she roll with the uh, with that wheel setup? Uh, like a typical car, car like a typ wood with yeah. 13s, you know? I did have <laughs> 520s on it uh, for the longest time, like three years, I rolled the 520s, OG 520s. Um, but uh, I was coming back from a good guy's car show and I got a bubble in one. And then I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go ahead and go to the radials, you know, cause I drive this car. Right. This, this car gets driven. That's cool. On the highway, whatever. So uh, I put the miles on her and uh, the 520s had to go, unfortunately. But, but yeah. She looks nice. You from Fort Worth though? No, uh, I grew up in Wichita Falls. Okay. It's about two hours north of here. Right, right. You know, so that's where my, uh, my low riding bug started. <laughs> when was that? Man, that started back in like the 90s. Yeah. Um, what was your uh, first low rider? Well, my first low rider was a 62 Impala. 62 Impala. Yeah, yeah, I was 16 years old. Um, but me and my dad went to go buy it when I was like 14, 15. Mm -hmm. You know, and the car had been sitting underneath the shed off of uh, like Jacksboro Highway in Wichita Falls. And I was just riding my bike, you know. I was sacking groceries at the local uh, grocery store. And I had already been looking at Lowrider magazines, you know, because my dad had always had Impalas when I was growing up and nice. 57 Bel Air. So I got hooked when I saw the magazines had a bunch of Impalas with Lowriders and everything. Right. And uh, yeah, saw the car and uh, found out who owned it. and. We went and bought the car and got it running. I rolled that car in high school. Had a little, had some 13-inch uh, Roadster bolt-ons. Okay. You know, and uh, bought them out of Lowrider magazine, man, for like 600 bucks. Nice. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Sent That's a money crazy. order into some company in Lowrider magazine. Uh, back in the uh, CO, yeah. COD days. That's it, bro. That's what it was. Yeah. The money order, like, COD. Is this real? Am I, am I sending my wheels? I mean, am I sending my money to the? Right yeah, person or yeah. Right, but they showed up about a week and a half, two weeks later. Man. That's crazy. And got them on there, man. And I just, I just cruised that car with the thirteen by, by sevens for several years in high school, you know. Right. And then um, I ended up having to sell the car because I graduated from high school and was kind of ready to go to college, you know. Mm -hmm. I needed the money and uh, sold the car, man. Never saw the car ever again. I wish I could get my hands on it, but. Uh, Bought a couple other 62s after that and did it lowrider, you know. Right. So, but yeah, I had a several, several different cars. Had Cadillac Fleetwoods, 94s and 95s, you know, that were cut. And, right, right. And uh, even had a lowrider. Had a 94 Fleetwood in, in college. You know, I'd pull up to campus hitting the switches. And everything, <laughs> That's and people right. Were like, what the heck? <laughs> Who's this guy? <laughs> That's had my right. college sticker in the back and everything. So. That's right. Where'd you go to school? Yeah. I went to Midwestern State University. Okay. Wichita Falls. Wichita Falls. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Yeah, man. Cool, man. Cool, man. So, uh, you want to take this bad boy for a spin? Yeah, let's do it. Cool.
Man, I appreciate that ride. Of course, brother. Appreciate you having me out here today, and I appreciate you, course, I appreciate brother. lunch, man. Of course, brother. Thank you, thank you for that. Yeah. Thank you. You got a you got a beautiful Bel Air. Thanks, buddy. Beautiful Impala. That's gonna be uh, yeah. for the next video. Yeah, y'all stay tuned. Yeah, man. Might come, maybe coming soon. The tray. Patina uh, that's what I was gonna ask. Uh, where can people find you? Yeah, no, definitely. You can check me out on Instagram. It's uh, at patina underscore classics underscore tx on patina the IG. Patina underscore so. classics yeah. underscore tx. Yep, yep. And I'll put that down in the description as well as on the video. So y'all check them out. It is for sale. If you are interested, come Bring on. The Bring the bag. Bring the bag. 75k. 75k. Come and cash them out. That's it. Come and cash them out. Thanks again, brother. All right, y'all. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the content, the footage. Beautiful 57 Bel Air. I know I did. Thank you, Miguel, for having me over here. Until next time, Mark Steady with Mark Steady TV. Like, share, subscribe. Hit us up. Let's go.